What's on our mind today is voltage. Different voltages that come out of the wall. And today's question is from, uh, let's see, Ready in the USA. Hmm, me thinks that's not your real name, but good to know you're in, maybe it is, I don't know. All right. <laughs> Why do manufacturers make some electronic equipment universally compatible with 100 to 240 volt, 50, 60 hertz, while others are region specific? Does sound quality degrade if we insert a step up or step down transformer unit in the chain? All right, ready. <clears throat> let's see. Well, first off, let's, let's look and see. We know that different countries have different voltages that North America in general is at 120 volts, Japan at 100. And aside from a, a country like Brazil, which is kind of funny because half of it is in one voltage and half of it's in the other voltage, the, um, yeah, that's always a little strange. I don't know, I guess it was one old system and then they upgraded that. Pretty much the rest of the world, oh, Taiwan, Taiwan's 100, 120 volts. Pretty much the rest of the world is 230, 220, or 240 volts. That system is uh, something that drives manufacturers nuts. It's very difficult because we, I mean, just take these pieces of equipment here or here. All of these things have to work on both voltages. But we don't have products that are universal. We have a few, like Sprout has a universal input, but everything else that we have is specific to the voltage. So why? Why is that? Well, first off, let's look and see what differences there are. So when a product is specific to a voltage, that generally means there is a standard power transformer within the unit, okay? And is there one around here? Oh. Oh, you know what a transformer looks like. Big, uh, we use toroids, so it's like a big donut of iron with copper wrapped all around it. These are specific transformers. And, and think about the name transformer. What does it do? It transforms one thing to another, right? AC in, AC out. That's not what it's transforming. What is transforming is the voltage. So transformers have what we would call on the input a primary and on the output a secondary. The secondary voltage is what this amplifier that I'm holding here for those of you on the podcast needs to operate. So let's see that inside of this power amplifier we need 60 volts. Fair enough? But that's DC. We need 60 volts DC regardless of what we put in. So if I put if I start with 120 volts What's going to happen? I'm going to step that down. I'm going to transform that voltage through my transformer in half. And so 120 becomes 60, which is what I need. But if I put in 240 volts, all of a sudden that 60 is going to go up to 120 volts because the transformer doesn't know what you're putting into it, right? So if my transformer is set up for a two to one reduction, Whatever I put into it, I'm going to get out at half of that voltage. So then I have to change the primary so that the secondary gets what it wants. Now, that primary, instead of a 2 to 1 reduction, is going to be a 4 to 1 reduction if I have 240 volts coming. Or let's, let's just call it 220 to keep the math right. Uh, or, let's see, yeah, 4 times 6 24. Well, you get what I'm saying. All right, uh, math is never one of my great skills. So one is a uh, 3.8, you know, call it a four to one reduction on one, a two to one reduction on the other. And that requires rewiring the transformer if it has dual primaries, or sometimes replacing the entire transformer itself. So generally, that's why amplifiers, preamplifiers, CD players are specific to the country's voltage because that wiring has to be changed inside. We, our transformers here are all dual primary transformers, actual triple uh, primary transformers because of Japan, so that we can uh, wire them differently. But they have to be done internally. It's not something you can just click a switch and lightly do. We do that because up to this point, 
and still to this point, big iron transformers sound better than the opposite. And now let's talk about the opposite. When you have a device that can accept anywhere from 100 volts to 240 volts, by default, you have what's called a switch mode power supply. That's like a class D amplifier, if you will. Switch mode power supplies are usually very efficient. They have a whole bunch of advantages like universal power. They can take pretty much any power and output any other power that you want or any other voltage. So they can take you know, anywhere from 100 to 240 volts and they output are 60 volts, let's call it, or that's 30 volts, whatever, whatever you need out of those things. They're, they're relatively complex devices. They radiate a lot of noise, RF and EMI, and they are really difficult to design. They're particularly difficult to design if you want good sound. I, I would have to say that we don't include them in our products in general because most of them just don't sound good. We don't put it into the BHK series because we've never found one that can match the sound quality of a, a big iron transformer. Now, this product that I'm touching here is a stellar product and it is a amplifier. We have an M700 and an S300 and both of those use switch mode power supplies though they are voltage specific because not all switch mode power supplies have universal voltage which we don't need to get into but just trust me they don't. So in any case this is a switch mode power supply. It's made by ICE in Denmark and it's excellent. So it's not that it can't be done it's just that it is rarely done and someday, as a big corporate goal, I have set forth as, as the, the big mocker here, I've, I've said, someday we're going to stop putting in all this massive iron and copper transformers into our products because someday we're going to have to get efficient, better for the earth, and add switch mode power supplies to our lineup. But that's really hard to do and our engineering efforts on that so far have wound up pretty pretty thin. We haven't been able to figure out how to do it. I think we can. I think we will. But right now we don't. So that I hope answers your question. Thank you for asking it. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.